Hey guys, Paradise Master here, and today we're going to be playing Dead Rising. And today we're going to be mainly focusing on case 3 and 4. And if you guys uh, support the this Dead Rising playthrough or walkthrough or whatever, then leave a like. But I'm going to go about and actually kill some time until we go to the Professor's Past. So yeah, see you then. So I just went about killing some time, so I think we're right on dot. Let's go. He stabilized. Oh, thank God. He should be fine for now. Rad is like one of the coolest guys, and I, I know right. I know what happens in like You're the fun. future, right? But he's like one of the coolest characters, in my opinion. But but yeah. Frank is my main favourite in this like for the entire Dead Rising. That girl I saved. Girl, was she hurt? I offered to help her, but she took off. Can't really blame her for running from a guy with your looks. Oh man, you just got fucking dust. Anyway, nah. She was saying something about Santa Cabeza. Santa Cabeza. I think I. Oh. Dr. Barnaby, you're awake. Santa Cabeza. Wonder what he's going to talk about, I eh? I should have known. I thought Santa Cabeza was over and done with. You plan to dispense justice now? Calm down, Dr. Barnaby. We're only following orders. We have to protect, protect. you. Protect? More like imprisoned. Mate, you've got it off lucky, Professor, mate. You could be like one of these you, like sad the bastards, truth. like trapped in a fucking like Please. fucking child's uh, out us. fucking uh, fucking stuck in a food court with like zombies or whatever you know. You're like I'm getting fucking imprisoned, how I dare you dare to me? Am I right? By the way, if you can't you tell me we bit tired, I'm doing this uh early in the morning. <laughs> Fine. I'll just get my information somewhere else. Thank you very much. She can't hear you, Frank. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe if I can track down that woman again. Well, that was Dr. Barnaby. And that's case three done. Now we need to move on to case four. But again, I need to go about killing some time. Until then. I've got four hours to kill. Alright, well, let's go. I've just killed some time and it looks like I'm back in time. Oh, fuck, did you see that? It was freezing for a sec. Alright, so what I mainly did is that I saved two survivors. One of them had a fucking shot wound in his stomach. How is he alive? No, I don't know with that. But, um,. Basically, now we need to go to the supermarket and we need to go catch up with her. And we've got plenty of time for that, so I think I might do some of the other things as well. Alright, see you there. Oof. That scene. Oh, I remember these bastards. I remember them. The bonus. Death itself has overflowed upon the world. Defiling us all. He must have been defiling some little kids. Look at his priesty bastard. He must have been fucking. Oof, that's all I'm saying. The choir boys. Unlucky choir boys. <laughs> oh, I bet she's <laughs> fucking got some souls. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. I just think he's like coming off as a priesty bastard. I can just imagine all the wee choir boys crying right now. <laughs> Crying, I'm fucking hell, I can't speak. Oh. Man, that's quite the fucking cult outfit. Yellow raincoat with a fucking Joker's green mask. <laughs> In fact, it looks like one of those screen masks, right? Like, have you ever seen them? Like, the big white screen masks saying you can, like, pump blood in them? It looks like one of that, but we just wear a big nose and it's green. <laughs> Ah, a 
non-believer in our midst. Oh fuck that, Frank! You better run. <laughs> if we oh man, absolutely fuck that! Imagine being in that position where all these like mad bastards are staring at you. I bet just some children were pushed. The blood of a heretic. I'm sorry, I just see him and I instantly think kiddie fiddler. Alright, so these guys, they're like uh, survivors or zombies. One shot to the head will fucking kill them. Not to mention, they think they're full ISIS terrorists and they'll try to fucking blow you up. Right? I'm the shit, he's doing shit. Like, they're all like Aluak bar. I'm all like Aluak no. Mate, I was a shit bun. <laughs> but, but one can try. One can only try. Yeah, Chainsaw is definitely still where it's at. My boy Chainsaw. It's your boy. So we've said. We've saved uh, Jennifer, and now we need to help this yeah. fat bastard. Yeah, speed! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, but seriously though, with speed you walk faster. Well, no nah, shit, but you know what I mean. It's like much more better now. <laughs> like, right, um, right now the way he's walking, right? Imagine as a Frank's jogging right now, right? That's what he used to be. Ooh. And I hit X. Why the fuck the hex? But Jennifer, get my way, you'd have cow. You know what? We might find a snack in here. Putting bins. You vandalize the Wendy's? No, she's kicking bins. The Ronald, the fat bastard. Oh, I meant to give him food. Well, uh, well obviously, right, I, I thought, what well, I meant, right, I meant, like, is it the cue of the conversation where I gave him food? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Fucking, <sighs> shut the fuck up, I'll fucking hit you, you fat bastard. You're talking about fucking starving, look at the state of you. Wait, you could go for fucking three weeks without dying. I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, 10,000. Yes, boys. This fat bastard, I just gave him something to eat, he's all like, mate, I want more food. Right, well, I'm going to take these fuckers back to the safe house, and then we're going to go deal with the next part of the story. Right, I'm saving my game here, because this boss fight that's coming up is so unpredictably hard. So, right, basically, this bitch is almost impossible to fucking beat. Well, at times, that depends if you know what you're doing. I kinda do. But, like, if you were just hopping into this brand new, you'd actually be confused. Like, one thing that you can do is that you can go on top of the scaffolding and just, like, start taking pot shots, but that, that, that doesn't get there that fast. Um, what I do is that I kinda just wait for her, dodge, and then wait until she, like, goes by me and hit her with the chainsaw. She doesn't like stop at all, and whenever she does stop, it's to like charge you, so. Got her! Ow! Got her again! I just pretty fucked up, I just realised something. I'm hitting like a fucking person, just try to get medicine for her. I don't know why she get medicine for her. Right, she's just getting medicine, right? And I'm fucking attacking her with a chainsaw. <laughs> oh fuck, that's my hell. Fuck that. I'm getting an untouchable. Alright, what this does. I know that. What this does is that uh, it makes it so whenever I take a hit, right, the damage will still be done, but I don't flinch. But obviously, when it comes to her attacks, that doesn't matter. 
Fucking hell, let me move, you stupid cow. Just crash for fuck's sake, it's not that hard. You're a fucking AI, you're daft, come on. I just need one hit, just one. Fuck's sake. Got her! Wow, I can't believe I'm proud of hitting a fucking... <laughs> I mean, with the clown it's understandable, but here I, I, d I don't really see how. Oh! Uh, fra fra Frank... 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 Uh, you might want to talk, right? But that, that looks a bit... Keep... Frank... Do you not see how you're fucking like sitting on her? Can you like like I won't <laughs> run, so let go. You're hurting me. This looks like a fucking rape scene. Frank Gaffer yeah, for fuck's sake. How much do you already know? Have you called for help? Hold your horses, babe. I'm the one asking the questions here. What is this? He's like a fucking fifties investigator. Yeah, shut your mouth, douchebag. Yeah, fucking answer the questions. Stop asking them. The yeah, like fucking takes you. a smoke for a Not cigar. Us. That's what Carlito wants you all to know. Carlito? Who? If you want to interview someone, talk to Carlito. He has all the answers. You're talking Mexican about drug lord. Carlito Pablo Escobar. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought I'd add no. that in. Not now, he's injured. And in no mood to talk to anyone. I don't know. Mate, Brad's been shot and he's alright with talking to people, I think. I don't know, he's probably dead. I can persuade him. Can you know? I'm his little sister after all. Really no. Why should I trust you to bring him to me? Why not? You know what I mean, mate? Zombies are a message from Carlito. He wanted people to know. That's a lot of go with, right? I can't tell it to fuck off. Oh. <laughs> no, really, that's like the fucking worst amount of information she could give. When will you be back? Tonight at midnight. Oofed, midnight. The store next to the camera shop in the North Plaza. Oofed. Where they can't be seen. Wink, wink. All right, I'm just gonna skip the cutscene here because it's a little shite. Oh, I forgot all about this cutscene. Santa Cabeza is a stronghold of the Central American drug trade. By the way, this is me just coming back to the safe house after defeating her. And Brad's back up. So you what? That somebody spread a bunch of zombie drugs around Willamette? For what? What would making the dead come to life accomplish? Oh, what a hang, Sonny Jim. Terrorists. Don't try to explain their actions with logic. Well, you, 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 you chant shit. One of our most known uh, terrorists have their good reasons, and that's usually to do with religion. That oh wait. Set them off. <laughs> Religions, one of the shittest reasons they, they start a fucking war. <laughs> Exposed. Mate, I believe in God. Oh yeah, but I believe in God with sunglasses. Mate, let's fucking go to war, fam. <laughs> I've I've told you everything I know. Now get me out of here! I'll hang up a tip, mate. Frank, do your hangy. There it is. Well guys, I guess this is just a quick reminder to say, if you guys enjoyed the video, then leave a like. The, if you guys really enjoy my content, then subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to leave any suggestions, let me know yeah. in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!